trying to be in a band. I was trying to be the rock stuff that I got on stage, playing guitar and everything. And I was in a couple bands here and there, and nothing really started to come together. And I was. I was like, you know what, I really want to do this music thing, so I'm going to jump on the other side of the glass and help out those that actually have their stuff together because trying to put a band together, whether it be three, four, or five guys and scheduling and family time and this, that, and the other, trying to get all rehearsals, like, just wasn't happening. So I was like, I'm going to jump on the other side of the glass, help those that do have it together, and that's pretty much what happened. Went to Full Sail, got my education, got out, moved to Atlanta. 10 years ago in March 27, 2000, hit the ground running and haven't stopped since. So that's how I got going. That's the story of everybody. I think that everybody wants to be some kind of singer or artist, and then they realize I'm better suited for this. Yeah. Because most songwriters we know were wanted to be singers. the artist. Yeah. yeah. Which is the same for me because I was essentially wanting to be a DJ when mm -hmm. I came here. and. Uh, and I was doing it for a while. I was on radio shows and I was on, you know, I had mixtapes. I even went on tour through Europe and I was doing my thing. But this was this was the calling for me because I was going to school doing engineering on the side and uh, not on the side, but I guess, you know, during the day, engineering at night, DJing. And this just seemed like home because you could spend 14 hours in the studio and get lost. And, and not even to be like, oh yeah. crap, I've just spent 14 yeah, hours Yeah, not here. feel bad about it. You're like, mm -hmm. yeah, that, okay. Got something to accomplish. Yeah, we got some stuff done today. So, yeah, and same for me. I wanted to do one thing. I realized this was my calling and fortunately I've been really good at it. So, mm -hmm. yeah, I feel lucky. <laughs> what up? What's up? I Carl some Carson Carson. What's going on, man? What's up, man? What's up, man? I need some. Um, hey, Carl, hey, hey, was that like a dream? Like I want to be an audio engineer. Yeah, because I didn't even know what it was. I mean, I remember first finding out, and and you know, I was in high school, so I was trying to convince my parents to pay for it, basically. Pay for what? And it's for school. And they didn't even know what it was, so you know, I had to go through this big long explanation. And it wasn't like now; it wasn't on all over TV. You know, you click on MTV at any mm -hmm. part of the day, and there's somebody in the studio recording or doing something. But it wasn't like that at all back then. Nobody even had a clue. I didn't really even know what it was. You know, I just thought it was just just recording, but I didn't really understand, like, all the other process of it. Like, you know, that you're going to be in here a long time and people are going to be creating in front of you. And, you know, and even if you get comfortable with a client, then, you know, you even become part of the creative process, which I had no idea was even part of it. I always thought it was like a, you know, like a lab guy. And then there was, you know, the music part and you just kind of got to infiltrate that side maybe every once in a while. But, you know, it's a lot more than that. Did, huh? you, did you come into it as a musician or a band member? Yeah, yeah. I was a bass player in a band in high school, and you know everybody always had those dreams of you know I want to be a rock star and stuff. And <laughs> I noticed that uh, <laughs> I just said that. Really? <laughs> yeah, I was it's like, true. I wanted to be a rock star. And I was, you know, and I remember talking to friends. Uh, I had a couple friends that were in those little touring top forty circuits back then, and I just kept thinking, man, I don't want to do that. Like, you know, I want to. In the first place, I want to make more money than that. Mm -hmm. And in the second place, you know, I, I wanted to be more involved in the in the process of making the records, and not so much like after the fact. Like, you know, like these guys would go on tour after they were done making the records, and I was more interested in the studio part of it than anything else. I think, like, I started playing guitar when I was eight years old, and and I got a little Tascam Porta Four Porta Studio Four, a little four track cassette, you know. And probably about that time is when the Metallica Nothing Else Matters video was dropped and I saw my little itty bitty Porta Studio and then the whole video is the footage of them in the in studio making the record and I'm like, saw the big board for the first time, was like, holy cow, like I gotta do this, I gotta do this. And you know, that was like, I just need to know what all goes into being that guy.